playing those chords. Getting comfortable, getting your fingers comfortable with it, all right? And that's how it goes. Experimenting, okay. And all I am is doing another variation of what I've done before, okay. And I just did not move from that D. It's a D chord. I just made the dominant seventh of E. I turned it into a dominant seventh of uh, F. Remember, you're still on that D, going where? To the G. Okay? So, these little nuances that I'm doing, these are the ones that I want you to capture yourself, okay? Okay. Just get used to even doing chords like this. minor okay I just made it a, uh, a major dominant rather so instead of me playing the root here and the root here I just played the root with my left hand but I played off the dominant seventh in my right which would give you this type of sound and voicing familiar chord? Remember this chord? What I'm doing is I'm playing that chord using the notes of a diminished chord. Still a diminished chord. Okay? But I'm using this the C. I'm using the, uh, the chord for C, using the same chord for E flat, using the same chord for F sharp, using the same chord for A, using the same chord for uh, C sharp. So instead of doing all four, I just went part way. So I got to the part where I was closest to my diminished chord going into the two. Okay. something new. Okay. I'll do it one more time. <clears throat> that one. I'm 
basing that off of the tritone. Okay. Alright. Now what I mean when I base it off the tritone is I'm just using the notes of the E and the B flat off of C. And it's the um flat nine. Okay. You don't necessarily have to travel with it or walk. Okay. do that too. Going to the five. So let's try something else. You see what I'm talking about? All right. Because I know where I'm going. You kind of have to think a couple of steps ahead of time. All right. superimposed chord meaning one chord placed on top of another okay so actually what that was is a C7 on top of a D7 you just take the, the most of those chords out of the C use the tritone and keep the D okay but I went a whole step I believe yes Should I use a D7 with an E? It's like if you're playing the organ, your bass would be the D. Alright? You call a fourth chord, a quattro chord, okay? Um, I'm doing a whole, it's called a power chord. One, five, one. And I'm basing it off of what? The third. Four way, four way, major third. I think I explained this to you earlier. And I'm going right to the C. hands you can make that stretch but if you don't okay you can actually leave out the last chord there the last note okay or if you like it with the high in there do one of these numbers okay if you like it with the high note in there Okay, so I, I've I've given you about maybe a grand total of maybe maybe